Hello and welcome back to my channel. I want to start today by saying thank you to all 20,000 of you that um, viewed my video over the last week. It has been astounding. Um, so I'm really, really chuffed. Just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. But I noticed in the questions that I was asked that I keep getting asked the same question. So I'd like to just do this add-on video um, just to go through the different types of magnesium because that was a question that you asked. Um, what magnesium must I take was another question that was constantly asked and that depends on what you are trying to treat. Um, so I will go through each one of the more common magnesiums and um, give you a brief detail of what it treats. And then the third question was asked is how much must I take? Now the dosage of your magnesium that you should be taking differs depending on your gender and your age. So women should take anywhere between 320 and 360 milligrams per day and men should take between 14 and 420 milligrams a day. But I will put a little notice at the end of this video just to recap that and then I will also put um, subtitles in this video so that you can follow on and screenshot if you need to. So there are lots of different types of magnesiums out there and yes it can be quite um, intimidating when you're looking at all these magnesiums and you're thinking well which one am I supposed to be taking. As I said earlier it depends on what you are treating. Um, just the more common magnesiums are magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium malate, um, lactate, alphiron, oxide, chlorine and sulfate <laughs> and the reason why there are so many different types of magnesium on the market is because they take magnesium and they bound it to something else so um, for example magnesium sulfate is bound to sulfate and on and on and on and on so what are the most common ones that we take um, citrate and the one that comes up top of the pops every single time is glycinate so I take both citrate and glycinate. Um, both are very easily absorbed by our bodies. Citrate will treat things like um, digestive issues um, and it acts as a mild laxative. So when I stress, I hold my stress in my stomach and it goes into concrete mix mode. Um, it just seizes. So I take the citrate just to help with that. And then in the evenings I take um, glycinate because it... Um, relaxes you and helps with sleeplessness and I found that since I've started taking it I not only fall asleep easier but I stay asleep and that's a big game changer for me. Um, glycinate is also very good for mood issues, uh, depression, anxiety, any mood issues that you have glycinate is definitely your magnesium um, and also helps with migraines which is the reason why I got involved in the magnesium quest to start with. Um, it really has sorted out my migraines and has made my life livable. Um, I don't have, I don't feel like I've got this monkey on my back that is constantly um, pulling me down. Um, other types of magnesium that they make, magnesium chloride, it's used to detoxify and um, stimulate your metabolism. Then we've got magnesium oxide which is not very easily absorbed by the body. Um, it's normally the magnesium you'll find in bulk packages or in super big specials um, where they say they call it extra strength magnesium um, and that is used mostly, mostly for indigestion, heartburn and constipation. Um, then we have magnesium lactate um, which is specifically designed for people who battle with mag other forms of magnesium. Um, it's very gentle on our di 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 digestive tract and it also helps with stress and anxiety. Then we have malate. Um, I've recently found a magnesium supplement that combines the malate, the glycinate and the citrate. Um, not sure how it's going to be taken but we will see. I have ordered some and I'm going to give it a bash and I will let you know how it is. Um, malate is made from fruit and red wine. It is what gives the fruit its tartiness. Um, so if you suffer from a magnesium malate deficiency I suggest you book a holiday to South Africa and partake in our red wine drinking or otherwise you can just take a um, 
magnesium malate supplement. It will work just as well. Um, it is also less likely to act as a laxative and it is used to um, replenish magnesium in our bodies, but also to treat uh, chronic fatigue and chronic fatigue syndrome. So if you are battling with fatigue, um, malate's a really good one to be taking. Um, then we have magnesium L-thionate, which is a derivative of uh, vitamin C. It's when they break vitamin C down. It's a white powder. Um, it replenishes the um, magnesium in your brain, but doesn't really affect the magnesium levels in the rest of your body. It's really good for things like depression, um, Alzheimer's, or age-related memory loss. Then we have magnesium sulfate, which I clean forgot about. I used to use it all the time. Um, very good for um, water retention, um, sore muscles, aching body. You know, when you just get that time when you just, your body aches and you just need something to help it along a bit. Um, run yourself a bath and a couple of Epsom salts, maybe with one or two drops of essential oils was my Sunday afternoon treat forever. And I just forgot about it and stopped doing it. I don't even know why. And then somebody mentioned it in the comments. So thank you so much. It is definitely going to be on my Sunday self-love and self-care routine from now on again. And that's the end of me today. If you have enjoyed my video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Um, subscribe, like, share if you know anybody who you think may have magnesium deficiency and if they're battling to choose a magnesium and until we meet again stay safe stay loved and be kind thank you very much